Thank you for joining me as I share my experience of building my first end scale layout. Today we're going to continue to work on the campground module. Last time we saw it, I had roughed in some end scale size roads and determined that they needed to be a little bit wider. And then I took a couple breaks to practice modeling dirt roads and ground cover. I don't have a particular campground in mind that I'm trying to model, so I'm going to use the collection of pictures that I'm showing here to inspire me and to take ideas and incorporate them into my campground module. I started out by doing a little bit of reshaping of the foam in order to have good topography for my campground. I then removed the temporary cork roadbed that I had previously laid. Because the cork I had wasn't the right width for end scale roads, I decided to use extruded foam. I used a hot wire cutter to cut them into strips of the right thickness and then an X-Acto knife to get them the right width for both single lane and double lane roads. It turns out curving and working with the extruded foam was actually much easier than the cork. Uh, by squeezing one end or one side of the foam, um, you can make it easier to create curves and, uh, and lay out the, uh, the road the way you want it. After I dry fitted in all of the uh, roadbed, I then picked up individual pieces uh, one at a time and glued them back down and, um, and then pinned them down in order to secure them while the glue dried. Uh, in retrospect, I didn't need to use nearly as many pins and probably would have been better uh, to just use uh, common tacks as opposed to the T-pins, which were a lot harder to manipulate than my fingers. After the glue dried, I then sanded down the rough edges and prepared some plaster of Paris. And then gooped it on with a putty knife initially. Did some initial smoothing and shaping with the putty knife and then eventually just used my fingers uh, to smooth it out, which turns out is always the best tool. And sprayed it with water as needed. For the lake bottom, I went with some lightweight hydrocal plaster. First mixing it up in a cup and I left it fairly, uh, fairly wet, I guess is the best way to put it, uh, so it would spread more easy. Um, first attempting to spread it with my fingers, and then eventually just uh, taking the whole module and leaning it from side to side and letting the plaster flow uh, around, the, um, around the lake, uh, even shaking it up a little bit uh, to try to get it to level out. After letting the plaster dry overnight, I then sanded it and vacuumed away the dust and went ahead and painted uh, the roadbed uh, with some help from my daughter, um, latex brown, and followed that up by trying to paint the lake bed, uh, an appropriate mixture of colors of blue that would give the impression that the center was deeper uh, than the areas closer to the shore. Uh, this turned out not to really work the way we had hoped it would, uh, even though a fair amount of time was put into it. I've since seen some better techniques that we'll be sharing in a future video. I didn't have the camera rolling uh, when I applied glue and the, uh, uh, the dirt mixture to create the road, so here it is, uh, me cleaning up uh, after the fact. I'll attempt to share a link at the top of the screen with me demonstrating how I've made the dirt roads in a previous video. I'll leave you with a final overhead shot of the module with the mountain in place temporarily. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll come back to continue watching my progress on the next video.